Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, I want to talk a bit about Tommy Fury because the reaction to his um, six round hug fest was, it's been interesting. Um, and I have sort of mixed feelings about Fury. Uh, first of all, he's a novice, okay? He's a novice fighter and the six rounds with KSI was absolutely unwatchable. It was terrible. I made a video a week or two ago about um, how influencer boxing, misfits, whatever you want to call it, isn't damaging, quote unquote, real boxing. And I stand by everything I said in that video because it isn't. It's a different audience. It's a circus act. It's a bunch of novices. It, it's basically, from what I saw of that missed that card, there was one fight with a Filipino guy who got ended up getting knocked out that I would I found okay. But the Logan Paul thing, which I watched intermittent, intermittently as I was doing other things, and ended up in a big big riot. It was farcical. It was absolutely farcical. This guy who Paul was fighting, D Dennis, is that his name? He didn't look like he'd ever seen a boxing match, never mind a, a boxing ring. Uh, and he led with his elbow, I think. <laughs> and he ended up getting disqualified because they were, they were throwing each other on the floor. Look, this is not my thing. I thought it was junk. But if you like this stuff... If you're much younger than I am, and I'm sure this sort of thing is not aimed at men in their mid-50s, I keep saying this, but if you like this stuff and you like these characters and you want to follow them and, you know, it all has a sort of old, like a, when I was much younger, you know, there was this wrestling stuff that used to go on, which was obviously contrived and fake, but people like the characters. If you like all this stuff, that's fine. Go watch it, okay? But getting back to Tommy Fury, which is why I'm doing this video. I think people are being slightly hard on him uh, and I'm not I'm not going to defend him too much but let's put it this way okay he is a novice fighter either he's he he does more bodybuilding than boxing training or he's on something because he's muscle bound uh, he's he looks like a cruiserweight even though he says he's a light heavyweight if he wants to be serious about boxing, he should lose some of that muscle. That's the first thing. Because he just his punches don't flow, there's no snap in them. It's he's got that, you know, muscle bound um tightness about him, which I don't like at all. Um but as as far as his career goes, he is a novice fighter, a novice whatever it is, light heavyweight or cru cruiserweight. It should come down to light heavyweight. And so is KSI. KSI is a complete novice as well. I don't think he started fighting until he was in his 20s. And so we put two novices together, and what do you get? You get six rounds of, of trash. I, I've, I mean, I've seen, you know, novice fights, uh, hundreds of novice fights over the... I've been watching boxing for so many decades. And some of them are really entertaining, but sometimes if neither guy can really fight that well, you do get this sort of scrappy... There's a lot, a lot of mauling and, you know... It, and it seems to me that neither KSI, who started very late in the boxing ring, and Tommy Fury, who seems more interested in looking the part rather than being the part, um, neither of these guys is very well schooled. So we shouldn't be surprised when we get six rounds of, of nothing, what was basically nothing. Um, but let's, let's, let's bear in mind that Tommy Fury, OK, he's got the opportunity to get into this little world of influencer youtuber boxing whatever it is and make a ton of money a ton of money with the sort the type of figures which most novice fighters won't ever get a sniff at which most actually world-class fighters won't ever get a sniff at now if he's got the opportunity to make all that money i mean if you were in that position if i was in that position i mean i'd do it i'd, I'd go yeah fine you know i'll fight i'll fight these amateurs because after all, that is his level, really. He's an he's an amateur. He's well, not an amateur. He's, I mean, he's amateurish. He's a, a novice fighter, and he displays all the traits of a novice fighter. So if you put him in the ring and you say, "Well, I'll pay you," I don't know how much you got. Did you get about a million quid for for the or for two million for the Jake Paul fight? Well, you're going to turn it down? No bloody chance. <laughs> he's got a young kid. He's got a missus. You know, he wants to settle his, you know, secure his family's um, his his child's um, future and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I, don't, I mean yeah and he does talk a lot of crap and everything he does it but he's a young man 
you know, he was he 23? Christ Almighty, when I was 23, which is, I'm going back, you know, over three decades, uh, the amount of bollocks that came out of my mouth, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm glad there weren't phones around and everyone was filming everything and recording everything then because I would be so embarrassed. And that's what I think when I see these young kids with their phones, I think, if you're going to look back in 30 years' time, you're going to be embarrassed by all this crap. So I think Tommy Fury, cut him some slack. He's all right. You know, it's 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 just a bit of fun. This He's making a few quid. Younger people like all these characters, these YouTubers. Let them get on with it. I ain't got a problem with it, really. Not at all. So what, what's your opinion? Leave your comments below. And um, I want to hear your view. What do you think of Tommy Fury? And where do you think he's going? Because that's an interesting thing. I think he'll still stick in this YouTuber influencer thing. But let me know what you think. Um... You know, do you want to get paid a million quid fighting some YouTuber or do you want to get paid 10 grand fighting an eliminator for the area title? I know which one I'd choose. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for your time. Comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you could hit the like button, that'd be a big help as well. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.